hey loves welcome back to another video here on my channel today i got in some goodies from the nail throne which is run by sarah from sarah's nail secrets i will link all of the information in the description bar below so i was able to pick out some glitter bells products and she sent them on over so i could do a review and you guys i am so so grateful and i'm really excited to be showing you what i got in i have some awesome gel polishes and the glitters you guys they are stunning so if you are interested in seeing all the items i got in then just keep watching and please don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and have yourself a wonderful day okay so starting off with the glitters we have foxy which is a medium size glitter of course i had to get a green this is such a stunning stunning green so i would say this is almost almost a true christmas tone green but i'm gonna say it is a little softer of a tone it's not like that bright harsh green that we love for christmas this is a little more softer i think this will be perfect for floral nails i can really really see that for floral and springtime it is such a beautiful, beautiful shade, um, but you can definitely use this for Christmas. I just love this. And then I wanted to compare it to this shade I previously had. This is Ivy and it is also in the medium size. So this one is definitely it leans more to a blue tone green. It is not a blue, but it definitely has more of a blue tone green to it. So you can really see the difference there. So this one is also more of a warmer tone green, whereas this Ivy is more of a cool tone green. So hopefully that compares them well enough if you were deciding between these two. I know there is a third uh, green glitter. I was tempted to pick that one too, but green isn't really super popular in my collection, but I'm really happy I have these two for sure. Moving on, we have this Treasure Gold, and it is in the fine glitter. This is so, so, so fine. Look at that. And they fill it up right to the top, which is really nice. Like this will last you forever if you pick one up. But look how ultra fine that glitter is. It's so beautiful. And this is like a medium tone gold. This will go with everything. And it's such a universal gold because most women gravitate towards this shade of gold as opposed of like a yellow gold. It's really, really beautiful. And I wanted to compare it in case if you were curious. This is another gold called Stunner. Now this is in the medium size as opposed of this one is in the fine. But just in case if you were curious, this one also has holographic um, pieces to it. And this one is more of a white gold base. And I'll show you the difference. So do you see how this one is more of a white gold? And this one is more of a medium gold. But both of these shades are so beautiful, such a staple to have as these two are like the most popular golds. And then of course, rose gold. And I have a really good one to show you next. So once again, that one was treasure. Okay, as mentioned, this is what I would consider a rose gold. 
This is called Glow and it is in the medium thickness of glitter. Look at how beautiful that is. I love it. It is such a true rose gold, but it has some holographic glitter to it as well. It just, it looks so beautiful in the light. This is going to be a staple all year round to have. I really, really love this. And I will compare it to that last one I showed you, which was Stunner, because it is in the same medium and it is also holographic as well. So in case if you wanted to see the difference, you can really see how much more rose gold this is. And this is your white gold. But these are two staples to have in your collection. Like, who doesn't love these shades? <laughs> it's so pretty. Whoops. And then, just in case if you were curious, I have this shade called Sugar Honey. And it is more of a pink. But it has a little bit of rose gold chunkies to it. So just in case if you were curious to see the difference. So whatever the base of here is, like the really small glitter is matching with this one, but this one has big chunky holographic and rose gold chunks in there as well. Just in case if you had this and you wanted to compare it. Next, we have this beautiful purple, which is called Aubergine, I think is how you say it. Um, and this is in the chunky size, so it's a little different than the last ones we've seen. Oh, I still have the thing on here. Look at how beautiful this is. This is kind of like a warm tone, medium deep glitter. So depending on how the light is reflecting, it could look a little darker and then it can look more of a medium. It's so, so pretty. And as you can see, these are a little bit bigger size glitters as opposed to the last ones we saw. And I do have a comparison for you. So this one is called Amethyst and it is also in the chunky as well. I've made a mess of this one. <laughs> but you can definitely see, get that hair out of there. This one is a lot more cooler toned and it almost reflects, like it is a purple, but it leans more to the blue side of a purple. So you can really see that this one right here is more of a warmer tone and it is a true, true medium tone purple. Whereas this one kind of leans to the more bluish purple and it's more of a cooler tone. But they are two gorgeous purples to have in your collection. I would say this one is almost compared to like a Barney. <laughs> if you remember Barney, that's almost what I would compare this one to. And this one is more of like a lavender, I would say. But they're both so beautiful, so eye-catching. Okay, so the last glitter I have for you today is Onyx, and this is in the fine glitter, which is what the gold was. And this is a true darkened black. So this isn't like a super, super dark black. It almost leans more to a gray, but it definitely is a black. It is so, so pretty. 
I think this would be absolutely gorgeous for like the sugar technique or like a textured glitter nail. I have a few clients that love to do textured glitter on their pinkies and this color would be stunning for that, especially for like fall and Halloween. I love this black this like blackened gray. And then the glitter in here that you're seeing is definitely like a silver reflect to it. It is so pretty. Next we have one acrylic shade and this is called Flamingo Feather. It is a true hot, bright neon pink. And I did do a little sample here. So you can see the sample actually matches the color really, really well when it becomes wet. I think this is such a beautiful acrylic color. Um, I only use acrylic to do 3D flowers and 3D bows. And I was on the search for a hot neon pink and now I have finally found it. I absolutely love it. This is a solid, there's no glitter, there's no shimmer. It is so perfect. And I mean, if you're an acrylic nail tech, this is a must. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. And I mean, if you don't do acrylics and you're just looking for to do 3D art like me, if you get this jar, it is huge. It will last you forever, but it's so worth having. Moving into the gel polishes. First off, I love the bottles of these. They are so pretty with the gold lids. They have like this little heart so you can see the color. The logo is holographic. I just think they're so pretty. So this shade is called Muted Purple. And I am just gonna swatch them on my little swatch stick here. And this is what it says. It is like a muted medium tone purple. Okay, so that is one coat. It is a really nice purple. I This is going to be beautiful for fall. Now, you could totally use this for spring, for summer, but because it's kind of got that like mutedness to it, um, it would be perfect for fall. Pair it with like a mustard yellow, a burnt orange, like a sage green, even just a gray. That would be so pretty. I think this is a two coater, so I'm just gonna give this a cure and I'll come back with another coat on it. Okay, there is two coats of muted purple. Really, really nice shade of purple to have for all year round. Next we have Glamorous. I really love that name. <laughs> And this is a beautiful nude. It's almost like a pinky nude. So this will also be a two coater. So I will come back and show you what two coats look like. Okay, so here is two coats of glamorous. I love this shade. It is like a warm tone, pinkish nude. I'd say it definitely leans more to the nude side, but it is so beautiful. This is gonna go with like every color you pair it with. Next, we have the shade Mint Chocolate Chip. This one, I was so excited when I picked it online. This is a beautiful blue mint type of shade. This one applies really nice, but I will still do two coats, so I will be right back. Okay, and here is two coats of mint chocolate chip. 
it is such a beautiful i would say a lighter blue it does have a little bit of a mint to it like leaning towards that green but it is much more of a light blue but such a staple like this is going to be beautiful for spring for summer i would even say like winter with some snowflakes and oh it's just such a beautiful color and the name is super cute mint chocolate chip next we have crazy in pink and this one is a super vibrant barbie pink this is a true, true Barbie pink. That one applied really, really nice. I still will do two coats of it, but it applied really well. Okay, so there is two coats of Crazy in Pink. I love this shade. It is so, so beautiful. It applied really nice, especially for a pink. I just think this is such a staple. So far, all the colors I picked, I really think I'm going to be able to use them all throughout the year. But this one especially, because most of my ladies, they love their pinks. And this is a true Barbie pink it is bright it is vibrant and it is out there to impress i love this one all right second to last shade is called you're beautiful i really love that name how freaking stunning oh i love this purple Okay, once again, that one applied really, really well. That is such a beautiful, beautiful purple. Oh my gosh. Um, this is like a medium tone purple. It is so perfect for spring. Totally you could use this for winter time. Or not winter, <laughs> summer. <laughs> Oh, I love this so much. I am going to go do a second coat. Okay, there is two coats of Your Beautiful. I think this is my favorite out of the shades so far. I just love that. It is so, so pretty. Yeah, this one is a must-have, and it applied so nicely, too. The last shade we have is is sweet stuff and this one is a straight up bright coral such a beautiful color this one is definitely going to get you for spring definitely for summer but this is such a pretty color i feel like you could get away with it for fall as well once again if you tone it down with like a gray i really think you could get away for fall and even pair it with that sage green that army green um a burnt or not burnt orange but a mustard yellow I think this one is going to be so pretty with all those shades. Okay, and here is two coats of Sweet Stuff. Such a beautiful, vibrant coral. I love this. And pair it with those rose gold glitters that I showed you. Ooh, that would be beautiful. All right, next we have a cuticle oil. And this one is called Farisha, I think is how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I know you can't smell this through the camera, but you guys, this smells just like lifesavers. Do you remember those candies as a kid? Um, I remember at Christmas time, you would get those like little fat books and you'd open them up and there'd be like six different packages of lifesavers in them. 
this is what that smells like. I know that's kind of a weird comparison, but that is what, like the first time I smelt it, it was like my childhood coming back to me. That's, oh, I love that smell. This is incredible. It is really, really runny and it, it, apl it applies so nicely. It actually feels really, really good. Oh, and it just smells so nice. Oh, I love that smell. And you can rub it in really easily. It doesn't leave your finger looking super greasy or anything. It feels nice. I love this cuticle oil. And I mean, the packaging is beautiful as well. Okay, next we have some files. Now, these do say they are washable. I don't know if I would ever wash a file, um, but this is good to know if my client wants to take her file home, then she can easily wash it and reuse it a few times. Normally, I just uh, throw out files after, but <laughs> I know it's silly, but this file is so pretty. I love the two-tone. Um, it's not showing up very well in my camera, but there is this beautiful purple, and then obviously the gray, it's sandwiched in. These feel really sturdy, like they're not going to break on you. Now these are just 180, 180, which is going to be perfect for your finish filing to make sure everything is nice and crisp. But yeah, these are really like aesthetically pleasing looking files. Okay, and the last thing we have here is the clear stiletto nail tips. I never used nail tips before until this last month. Um, I've had a bunch of people ask me what I thought the difference was, like what I preferred between forms and nail tips. And I couldn't honestly answer that because I never used nail tips. I didn't know how well they lasted, um, if it would be a quicker service with nail tips as to pose a form. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, I cut off my nails to actually use tips and I did that for a couple of my other girls. And so far I'm loving the tips so these ones I wanted to give a try I've heard really good things about the glitter bells nail tips so I really wanted to try them out so here you have all the different sizes labeled and let's say for the biggest one here I think I have two so they are rounded at the tip or not the tip but the base so that it can sit on the base of your actual nail and they are super pointy super pointy really flat has a good c curve to it so if you were to glue these on at the tip of my nail i would say it is about the same length as my uh, as what my nail is right now so if you think my nails are too long you could definitely cut these down but these come to more of a point than my actual nail does but they feel decent they have a little bit of a give to them so I don't know if that makes sense or if it helps you at all if you are interested in picking up some nail tips. But these ones are called just the clear stilettos. Okay, so my final thoughts on all these goodies I got in from the Nail Throne, which is Glitter Bells products. Um, I think I'm in love. <laughs> I really, really love the glitters I picked out. Those are all going to be staples for me. I'm so happy with this hot pink acrylic. I know I'm going to get a ton, a ton of use out of this. Um, I really love these um, gel polishes. I think I got a really good variety of colors. And as you can see, like this one particularly, Particularly, this 
uh, glamorous shade. Like, look at how it pairs with every single color. Like, no joke, look how perfect. It literally goes perfectly with every single color here. I love it. And I think these two purples look really nice together. I think that would be a really nice set. I think these two together would be beautiful for mermaid nails. I just love these colors I picked out. I'm so happy with the gel polishes. Um, as for the cuticle oil, Oh, I love the smell of this. So definitely, if you guys like Lifesavers or you remember that scent, this one is such a staple to pick up. Um, I can't really comment on the nail tips as I haven't used these specific ones on anybody yet, but I will keep you guys posted in maybe like a favorites video that I have coming up. Um, yeah, I think this might be really nice to pick up. The Once again, the forms, I can't really comment on, or not forms, the files. I haven't used them on a client yet, but I think they're gonna be really, really nice. And my clients will be so happy that they get to take it home because it is washable. So I think that's it for everything I've showed you today. If you guys do have any further questions or you want any more comparisons to anything, just comment below or DM me on on Instagram. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.